Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything, where I get to answer questions from viewers. For instance, this one. Oh, I got a question on Final Cut 10 with image quality. I can't think of who asked it, but here's what they said. Let's this is a question about image quality. When you look at an image inside the event viewer, which showed up with the 1006 update, and you look at the same image inside the timeline viewer, the image quality is not the same, especially when it's playing back. And the question was, how come? When you're looking at an image inside the event viewer, you are always looking at the quality of the source image. But when you're looking at an image inside the timeline viewer, you are always looking at an image at the quality of the timeline. So if this was an HD image, but it goes into an SD timeline, you're going to see this in reduced quality. One-seventh the resolution of, of HD is what an SD timeline consists of. So there will always be a difference in quality because this is the original and this is the timeline. But there's a preference that also makes a difference. If you go up to Final Cut Pro, go down to Preferences. Notice here under the Playback setting, we have a pop-up menu that chooses between high quality and better performance. High quality means the processor will work harder to show high quality during playback while editing. Better performance means that the processor won't worry so much about quality during editing. Instead, it makes sure that it's got more of the CPU devoted to creating effects. If all you're doing is cuts only, then high quality is fine. But as you start to layer more and more stuff on, and you want background rendering to occur faster, or you need ingest rendering to occur faster, setting this to better performance, although it decreases the quality on playback during editing, will mean that the CPU is devoting more of its resources to creating effects. Neither of these settings affects output. Output is always at the highest quality, always. This setting has no relevance. When you stop playback of the playhead such that it's parked on a still frame, at that instant the CPU will give you the highest possible quality of this image. Then when you start playback, if it's set to better performance, the image quality will degrade. You'll generally notice the degradation in quality when you are working with still frames and text titles. That's where the image quality is, is degraded the most. The instant you stop, it sharpens back up again. Read, is there the same preference setting in Motion 5? To the best of my knowledge, no, because Motion is always working with materials stored in RAM, whereas Final Cut Pro 10 is working off materials stored in disk. Motion should give you high quality the whole time. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For a complete list of all of our online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. Oh, by the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.